So let's look at another example. An industrial company claims that the mean pH level of the water is in nearby river is 6.8. You randomly select 19 water samples and measure the pH of each. The sample mean and standard deviations are 6.7 and 0.24 respectively. Is there enough evidence to reject the complex claim at R5.05? Assume the population is normally distrib distributed. Okay. So as always, whenever we set up the hypothesis testing, we understand whether uh, the given statement is one tail or two tails. So, read carefully one more time. And then please determine this statement represent one tail or two tail. If it is one tail test, then it will include inequality phrases such as less than more than or at least and most something like this but do you see those phrases no instead we see is here right is means equal sign so obviously this statement represents two tail test therefore when you set up that this will be two tail h o null hypothesis statement so H O becomes mu equal to 6.8 and H A mu is not equal to 6.8 and that's their claim. Okay, now I'm gonna collect all this known information from these sentences. So randomly select 19 sample so n become 19. And sample mean is 6.7 and the standard deviation become s equal to 0.24. The reason I didn't assume s equal to sigma this time because sample size is small, which means less than 30 data. Okay? And then now given alpha equal to 0.05. Okay. Now, this is the one of the small sample case, so we cannot use large sample critical value such as 1.96, 1.645, 1 or 2.576 like that. So, I'm going to find out uh, T critical value in this case. In order to find T critical value, you need to find out degree of freedom, which is N-1. So, this case, degree of freedom becomes 18 because 19 minus 1, right? So, I'm going to go to df18 and then alpha 0 0.05 and this is 2 tail. So, it becomes 2 tail alpha this case. So, let's go to t table. So, 2 tail alpha is here, and then 0.05 is right here, and we go down until df equal to 18, which is 2.101. Okay, so tc become 2.101. Okay, so now we can set up the sample t test as well so t equal to x bar minus mu over s over root and therefore 6.7 minus 6.8 over 0.24 over root 19 then it come out negative 1.8162 something like this so we round 100 digits so become negative 1.82 okay now it is time to draw the normal graph using the two click value and we set up that uh, null and alternative 
hypothesis area. So, as you see, we have a t equal to 2.101, so 2 tail, which means negative 2.101 and 2.101 here. And then we bring out this value, negative 1.82. Now, please analyze where this value belongs to. If it is belongs to one of the pair, then we can say there will be H, A area. But if it belongs to middle, then become H, O area. Now, where this value belongs to? Is here, or here, or here? Yeah, obviously, negative 1.82 is greater than negative 2.101, so it belongs to H, O area. Okay? So, because this value is part of H, O, now, can we reject H, O? Of course not. So, this time, fair to reject H, O. Okay? So now, we got the fair to reject H, O. And then, where was the claim? So the claim was an H, O. So, go to the table and then make our conclusion. So, claim is on H, O. And then, fair to reject H, O. Therefore, our conclusion become there is not enough evidence to reject the claim. So, our conclusion, there is not enough evidence to reject the claim. So, that will be the answer for this problem.